shalt thou trust. Though we stand in the shadow of death, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. The Lord is our God. The Lord is one. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Shield us through this night of terror, O King of the universe. Why is everyone afraid? Why is this night different from all others? Because this night the Lord our God will deliver us from the bondage of Egypt. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night. One day, Jehovah God came to Noah. 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 The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make you an ark of gopher wood, room 
friends shall we make in the arm. of the waters, his will be done. He opens the waters before them, and he bars our way with fire. Let us go from this place. Men cannot fight against a god. Better to die in battle with a god than live in shame. Praise God and down into it! Thank you.
Because God is all-knowing, and because he knew that we could not be as holy as he had asked, he gave us a new covenant which he spoke through the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Not like the covenant I made with their fathers when I led them out of Egypt. For that covenant of mine they have broken. This time I will speak and write upon their hearts. Behold this unleavened bread. This is the bread of affliction that our fathers ate in the land of Egypt. Whoever is hungry, let him come and eat. Whoever is needy, let him come and eat Pesach. This year we are slaves. Next year, may we be free men. And I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night, and I will smite all the firstborn from man to beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments with a mighty hand, and with great awe, and with signs and wonders. Leavened or unleavened bread? Why on this night do we eat matzah? On other nights, we eat vegetables of any kind. But why on this night do we eat bitter herbs? On other nights, we don't even dip our vegetables once. Why on this night do we dip our vegetables twice? On other nights we eat either sitting or reclining. Why on this night do we all recline? <laughs> you have a fine son. What am I saying? We all have a fine nephew. <laughs> <laughs> all things written in the law that God gave Moses foreshadowed the redemption that he had planned for us, for those who believed even before the foundations of this earth were laid. I've read the scriptures, Yuda. Good. And then you also know that when our forefathers, Adam and Eve, ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, that God said that they should know death. So it is written. But God, in his grace, also promised a deliverer through the words of judgment in which he cursed the enemy of our soul, the serpent. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed, and he shall strike you on the head and you shall strike at his heel. Later, through the prophets, God spoke of a deliverer like Moses, who was to deliver his chosen people. Stop this, Judah. You know I speak the truth, Isaac. Yeshua fulfilled what was written. He embodied everything the scriptures tell no, us. No, no, Judah, that's your truth. But as for you, O Bethlehem, too small to be numbered among the clans of Judah, from you one shall go forth, who shall be ruler of Israel. The prophet Isaiah foretold of his virgin birth. Behold, a virgin shall give birth to a son. He shall be called Emmanuel. The scriptures teach us that there are three parts to the Passover. Pesach, the lamb. Matzah, unleavened bread. Maror, bitter herbs. Just as this lamb must be without blemish, so Yeshua... So Yeshua was unblemished of sin. 
sacrifice on the Passover that he might fulfill the law that Moses and the prophets had spoken. Did you know that the minute of his death was the very minute that the last Passover sacrifice was allowed in the temple? What does that have to do with anything? As Isaiah foretold, he was the sin offering for our salvation. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he never spoke a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And like a sheep before the shearer, he stood dumb, silent before those who condemned him. Yet he had done no wrong, nor ever spoken an evil word. He is the true unleavened bread that came down from heaven. Leaven is a symbol of sin and corruption, but the Messiah was pure and holy. The Passover bread is called the bread of affliction. And truly the Messiah was afflicted. See the scars, like the scars the Roman whips cut into his back. That was God's punishment because he was a false messiah. Just as this bread is bruised by the fire, so Yeshua was bruised by the fire of God's wrath, due to us, but poured upon him. See the holes, like the holes that the nails made in the spear that cut into his side. Yeshua's body was broken unto death that we might have life. The bitter herbs remind us of the suffering the slave masters of Egypt inflicted upon our ancestors, but even more, they talk of the suffering of the Messiah for our sins. If he's the Messiah, why did God allow him to die such a shameful death? Have you not read what Isaiah prophesied? Yet it was God's will to bruise him and to fill him with grief. King David prophesied of a Messiah's crucifixion in the Psalms. A band of evil has encompassed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. They divide my garments among them for my clothing they cast lots this was written a thousand years before the birth of Yeshua just as the way of judgment delivered our fathers from slavery in Egypt and just as the blood of an innocent lamb delivered our firstborn from certain death so the blood of Yeshua delivers us from eternal damnation. His final words from the cross were, it is finished. He knew that he had fulfilled the prophecies and taken away our sins. And that is why this night is different from all other nights, Shmuel. And why the cup that we are about to drink is called the cup of judgment. Amen.
Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by his commandments and commanded us to eat your Passover. Amen. Yuda, if Yeshua was the Messiah, why is there no peace in Israel? Because we did not want it to happen. Because we would not accept him as our king. We betrayed him and turned him over to the pagans and watched as he was crucified on the cross. But God raised him from the dead. And will he come back? He will come back to reclaim Israel in her hour of greatest tribulation. Tribulation that will cross the entire face of the earth. we are born to the day we die we are under a spell we are controlled by the magicians who use marketing and propaganda to manipulate our every thought from religious leaders to company executives from politicians to secret military elites everything we do say and even think is scrutinized Mankind has stepped out of a natural state of existence and walked blindfolded into a world of insanity. We are force-fed information, drugs, poisoned food and told we should feel lucky. We are told that we live in a free world while everything we do is controlled. Many are happy in their state of delusion do you wish to stay plugged into the system? Or are you ready to set yourself free? Welcome to your world. Welcome to a false reality. What in the world? 